Let's create this animation in After Effects. We design our character and the coin stacks in Adobe Firefly, then isolate the top coins from each stack in Photoshop and import everything into After Effects. Next, we select all coins and apply the scale and drop behavior from Squash and Stretch. At first, the motion feels a bit too stretchy, so we dial the Squash and Stretch amount down to 50% and reapply the behavior for a more balanced look. To stagger the timing of the coins, we shift one layer about a second to the right, then we select all coin layers and use the Stagger Layers tool. We choose to stagger the in points in descending order and set the randomness to a lot, giving us a more dynamic scattered drop effect. Now the animation looks like this. This is day 3 of 30 days of better animation in Adobe After Effects with Squash and Stretch. On day 4 we continue with this example and I'll show you a cool method to add some subtle background motion to our character.